many blessings to you today. There is a voice that you and I need to hear in this earth today. Yes, it is that still small voice. But the Word of God says, Had in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he had appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. The last voice that you and I need to hear is the voice of the Lord. The Word of God simply says to us in Hebrews 1-2 that in the last days He has spoken unto us by His Son. There are many of us who live by the commandments, live by the words that were spoken uh, by Moses. Uh, but dearly beloved, we need to come to a place where we hear the voice of God through the Son. For the Word says that in the last days He has spoken unto us through His Son. So to get to know the Father, we must get to know Him through the Son, whom He had appointed heir of all things. Jesus Christ is the heir apparent of everything that have existed and will exist in the future. Nothing belongs to man, but it all ultimately belongs to God. We live in a society that says certain things we have ownership of, and we have the ability to do what we want to do to those things that we believe that we own. But when we fully understand who God is, and we understand Him as the Creator of all things, we get to a place of knowing that nothing actually belongs to us. Even that which we have worked for, even that which we have called our home, or uh, our children, or our possessions, every bit of it belongs to God. Because the Word says that, God has made Jesus Christ the heir of everything by whom also was made the worlds. In other words, everything was made for the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why we are commanded as believers that we give all unto the Lord. That everything that we have, we realize that it is not ours even our very own lives. We don't have power to say if we live or if we die. We have not power to say if we go to the deep or we go unto heaven. The only power that we have, dearly beloved, is to make a deliberate choice in this earth while we yet live it. And we have to ask ourselves, are we doing that on a daily basis? Because each day we need to make up our minds to choose to serve the Lord. We don't just automatically wake up and say we are going to choose, we are going to serve the Lord and my flesh is going to serve the Lord. It has to be made to do just that. And only then will we be able to acknowledge in our own hearts, in our own mind, that nothing belongs to us, but all of it belongs to God. Even the rights <coughs> that we seek, <coughs> excuse me, in this earth don't belong to us, but it belongs to God. So, dearly beloved, remember that this day, that God, our Father, has made Jesus Christ <clears throat> the heir apparent of everything. And we, those who have chosen and have been chosen by God, can then say, I will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will 
serve the Lord. Many blessings to you today.